And then this is, the, I reckon, the ultimate, the magic bullet of business right now is kindness. We don't think about it, we don't talk about it, we don't make business decisions based on it because nobody does. But the people who do are miles ahead of everyone else. If you think about when you make a business, I don't make a single decision in any of my businesses unless it meets a certain criteria of kindness checks, three checks. The first one is, is this kind to me and my family? Right, selfishly, that's, that's on top and should be. Secondly, is it going to be good for my customers, my end users? Thirdly, is it going to be good for my, computer, uh, my community, my country, my industry? If it meets all those things, I'll do it. If it doesn't meet any of those things, I won't. Because kindness underpins everything that's good in business today, and a lack of kindness underpins everything that's bad. Everything that's about dog-eat-dog, -dog, competitive ruthlessness, ruthlessness is not kind. Everything that's about the hustle, you cannot stand that word in, in terms of business. There's some very big people with very big social media followings who tell you it's all about the hustle. If you're not doing a 20-hour day, you're a quitter. You're not trying hard enough. All that crap. If you're doing a 20-hour day, you have lost contact with people who need you. And you've mostly lost contact with yourself. There's no badge of honour for that. You're a goose. You know, like, you can't run your business and forget your family and friends and forget yourself. Sure, you'll build a business, and what for? Right? And I think the other thing about kindness, in business especially, is that you'll never lose business by being kind. You'll only ever gain it. No one's ever going to complain about your business because it's so bloody kind in there. I wish they'd just been so, stopped being so kind to me, it'd drive me crazy. Kindness wins.